welcome to this update's video. I hope you're doing really amazing today. Now, we're going to be looking at what is happening across the North Atlantic. And uh, we are 27 days out from the official start of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. Meanwhile, the Pacific hurricane season, the Eastern Pacific hurricane season commences next Wednesday on the 15th of May. Now, as we look at the infrared satellite imagery, we can see that there is some activity in parts of the U.S. Uh, there's been a lot of flooding in areas such as Texas and uh, headed towards the Caribbean. There is still that southwesterly flow and some activity, some showers looking around in some areas. There was also some instances of flooding in the Caribbean yesterday, which I'll talk more about momentarily. Next, northern South America, there is some activity there and out uh, toward the along the intertropical convergence zone. Now, notice how dry this area is coming from Africa and headed towards the Caribbean. There's really nothing here. It's so vacant of any convection. Why, you may ask? Well, another dust plume. So the dry air induced by the Saharan dust is helping to kind of stabilize atmospheric conditions. Hence, we're not seeing much happening right now. Very dry in this area. And we'll be looking at the forecast later in this video. But as we zoom into the Caribbean here, we can see a better picture of what's been going on. So it's a sunny morning for many areas, although there could be some uh, afternoon showers and thunderstorms developing. But for areas such as the ABC Islands, there has been that increase in rainfall, which is good because, I mean, recently there wasn't much rain. But now with that trough in the area and that southwesterly flow as a result of it, there has been some rain moving through. Also, for parts of the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and areas such as the Dominican Republic and Haiti have also experienced some uh, quite a bit of rainfall recently. Jamaica. So in many north and western parishes yesterday, there was a lot of heavy rain and even some flooding that took place. As it relates to today, though, let's look at the rainfall forecast from Euro. And the more colorful this map becomes, more rain is expected for that particular area. So for parts of Florida and uh, even the Bahamas, especially the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, there could definitely be some shower activity around today. Same thing for Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and some spots in the Virgin Islands. There could even be a heavy downpour and uh, thunderstorms somewhere uh, within this general area across the northern Caribbean today. The northern Leeward Islands may also experience some showers, but Guadeloupe southward through Grenada, including Barbados, may not experience as much rain. The rainfall chance is lower for those islands. Trinidad and Tobago going towards the ABC Islands. There could be some rain around today in some spots. Northern South America will remain active with rainfall maybe up to 3-4 inches or so. And then as we head towards Central America, especially near the Pacific coast, there could be some showers or thunderstorms popping up. And then for Belize, a few showers may loiter by but may not be widespread. And so in terms of the winds today, quite windy in parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and even sections of the southeastern Caribbean, such as the ABC Islands, Windward Islands, and towards the Yucatan Peninsula. But uh, overall, winds may be anywhere from around 5 going up to 10, 15 knots across parts of the Caribbean as we head through today. Next, we have the Saharan earlier forecast. So as I mentioned, there's that dust, which is helping to stabilize atmospheric conditions in the main development region. Hence, we're not seeing any activity on the satellite imagery. So here we can see the darker uh, shading of brown is representative of higher dust concentration. And so here we can see that as we're going to be heading through early this week, that dust is going to be moving across the Lesser Antilles, ABC Islands, parts of Northern South America, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even towards areas such as uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic and even Jamaica later this week. So that dust is around and it is going to be moving in. And in, in its very high concentrations, it can result in skin, eye, throat irritation. It can also trigger respiratory conditions and allergies. So please be mindful of that, guys. And uh, we're a bit late today, but how about the question of the day? So the question of this video is, which hurricane in 2016 formed on September 28th and devastated Haiti. So there was a hurricane in 2016. It developed on the 28th of September and it caused a lot of destruction and devastation in the country of Haiti. Save your answer because it will be discussed not long from now. So we're moving on to the rainfall forecast for June, uh, the rainfall anomaly. 
Anomalies basically how much is varying from what is typical, whether above average or below average. So let's talk about it. First, we have the CANSIPS model, one of the models, and it is expecting that, hey, we could see above average rain throughout much of the Caribbean as we head throughout the month of June. So those green uh, uh, and even those spots of blues you're seeing are indicative of above average rainfall. So what does that mean? There could be a lot of those troughs around and uh, those tropical waves as well eventually moving in from the east. There's also the NMME model. This model is also showing those green shadings around, expecting that, hey, it's going to be uh, quite wet in the Caribbean in the month of June. There could be above average rain. And then there is the CFS model, the climate forecast system, expecting that only parts of the Caribbean will be receiving above average rain, such as the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even towards Central America as well. So... Overall, we could definitely see that increase in rainfall as we head into June. And I mean, the hurricane season is going to be kicking in and we'll soon start seeing those tropical cyclones out there. All right, guys. And so now we are heading on to the question that I asked, which hurricane in 2016 formed on September 28th and devastated Haiti? The answer is Hurricane Matthew. So Matthew developed on the 28th of September and, you know, it's intensified rapidly in the South Caribbean and peaked as a Category 5 hurricane. And just before it made landfall in the Tiburon Peninsula of Haiti, it weakened slightly down to a Cat 4, nonetheless still very, very dangerous with maximum sustained winds up to 150 miles per hour. Now, in terms of the fatalities, uh, there were initially reported over a thousand, going up to a uh, thousand five hundred or so, and then damage estimates were around two point eight billion in twenty sixteen u s dollars so Matthew did quite a number on haiti and is uh it was the strongest storm to hit the area since 1964 and overall the third strongest landfall in hurricane in the country of Haiti. So that's just some information on what happened. Eventually, uh, Matthew was retired in the spring of 2017. So that name will never be used again for a North Atlantic tropical cyclone. It was replaced with Martin, which was used for the first time in 2022. So guys, that is basically what I wanted to share with you in this update video, and I really do hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so, and remember to always be weatherwise.